Hey, Mom. Do you know how you were telling me that on the train when you're riding, you get lightheaded and sweaty? Uh-huh. I read that, um, that that could be your blood sugar being low. So I'm thinking you should start maybe like carrying some snacks in your bag. Yep. Okay? Oh, <laughs> okay, Mom. Sense. Yes, it does. Okay, love you. Love you, too. Bye. Bye. The second that people hear or find out that you're pregnant, all of a sudden, like, you just get kind of bombarded with millions and millions of questions and concerns and, and you know, advice and you should be doing this and think about doing that and, well, I did this and you ended up fine, so. <laughs> um, how do you ladies, like, kind of navigate those situations? Because, like, I'm hearing a lot that it's, like, mainly coming from family mm -hmm. and, like, the people closest to you, right? And I don't know, for me, I'm like, where is that line? At one point, do I need to have, like, a sit-down conversation? <laughs> Not always person it's right. how they offer the advice right so like if they're like I did this it's the only way you can do it you have to read this book because like if not you're not doing it right that is something that's really not welcome versus like oh this worked for me and it could work for you right and yeah. you're like more willing exactly. to take that yes. and, and take it to heart yes I agree yeah. but my mom and I are really close so I can be like all right, mom, nobody does that anymore. And it's like, fine, we can be like flat out honest with each other and nobody gets offended. Yeah. Um, but I have to say my favorite piece of advice I got was from my sister-in-law, which was the best piece of advice is don't take any advice. And like <laughs> yeah. ever since I got that, every time somebody gives me advice, I'm like, okay, thanks. Or it's just like, whatever, and, and yeah. move on. They say what they need to and maybe you take it, maybe you don't, but um, it's nice that people care. I would just smile and nod. <laughs> Thank you very much. But I think, you know, I'll do my own thing. And my yeah. mom is the complete opposite of yours. So it took me literally losing my mind and going crazy and having a full out meltdown yeah. for her to finally back off. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, I so. definitely have meltdowns, <laughs> but with my husband, because yeah. he's the only one that knew for a long time. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it was because he was micromanaging my diet. He was like policing how much sugar I had. And I was just like, no. can you read these books for me real quick? Because <laughs> yeah. accor according to science, it's all good. <laughs> so what are some questions that you are tired of hearing. The question that bothered me the most when I was pregnant was, what is your birth plan? I feel like too, if, if it's your first pregnancy, like, I'm like, I wouldn't even know how to answer that. I'm like, I don't know. Right, exactly. <laughs> you know, I don't yeah. know what I'm doing. Yeah. So. It's gonna, it, co it comes out, right? And yeah. that's that. Yeah. It just comes, it's, right. The doctors are gonna be there, right? They'll tell me what to do. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Are you gonna have a doula, a midwife? You know, like all of those questions, which are val you know, valid and interesting and everyone's personal decision, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm not gonna I, tell you. Yeah. 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 Talk about it, yeah. And if you have one, yeah, why yeah. would you tell them? Yeah. What about you? I don't think I've ever had anyone ask me how I'm feeling. Stop. <laughs> no, huh? I'm how serious. Are you feeling? Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. That's not true, I asked you this morning. <laughs> did you? Okay. That's right, you did. Sorry, okay. It's been a long time. <laughs> Um, I get, oh, they are you excited? I get that a lot. Or, oh my God, are you pregnant? No. <laughs> and then I keep walking. <laughs> no. <laughs> so those are two big ones for me. Yeah. The are you excited? Because my answer is always no. <laughs> it is, I'm just having my own issues <laughs> with yes. this situation, <laughs> but I'm getting there. <laughs> well, and I feel like along with that, like, are you excited? Like, I feel like mm -hmm. most of the time people have already decided what the answer right. is, yeah. exactly. which is, exactly. yeah. Yes. So it's like, you're not really ready to have this conversation, and yes. I know you're not, so we should yes. just move on. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Uh, what's something that you wish people would ask you now? Would you like a massage? <laughs> <laughs> I always need to be, I just feel swollen all the time. Yeah. So any kind of like, touch or like support makes me feel so good. I was actually surprised. Um, I thought I'd get more questions like about my baby and the future of my baby. But the question, I've been getting a lot of questions just about like me. And I, and I like that because I'm like, this is about me right now. Cause it's gonna be about him in like a few months. And like, 
me. And so <laughs> I, there's no question that I'm longing for because I'm surprisingly like, like getting these really like nice, thoughtful questions about myself that I wasn't expecting to get mm -hmm. at all. I think the more that people ask about me specifically and less about pregnancy mm -hmm. or childbirth <laughs> or, you know, parenting, the better I feel. Cause I'm like, oh, it feels like then like more personal, like you actually care about me and right. how I'm feeling as opposed to imposing on my pregnancy journey. It's more like, you know, do you need anything? 